There's a lot of comedia. Anybody want to explain to me what this movie's about? Anybody want to? It's a, obviously it's got an experimental tone to it. It makes you feel some sort of way. So how does it make you feel? Okay, so I I was imagining many many things in this film. So it's there are many things to say because the, there is the, the last image of the painting and someone dying or dreaming or something. So. And all the walls are covered with other paintings that are represented in the in this. Yeah. So it's a, like a cube. You have many faces of the the image, and if you uh, the Rubik's cube or something, so Rubik's cube, um, you are inverting the, the the cube, and it's still part of the the movie. You know, it was interesting because it was mixing different styles of. Uh, shooting and uh, kind of uh, animation, things like that. And there was a bike. It was Holland, so... Very Holland, uh, there is always a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool film, and, uh, and well, from my subjective opinion. But really, yeah, it's about, I guess for me, it was about a dying man sitting being able to go anywhere and basically his own imagination is going into the the, the, the paintings. I'm sure you know I just went to an art show on Saturday. I got sucked into certain paintings where my imagination was floating as well. Go ahead. Um I found the film very like visually appealing. Even though I had no idea what was happening in like the beginning, I thought it was it was nice to see like the different like colors that were used. You can kind of like infer like the kind of tone that the filmmaker was like going with even if you don't really understand the complete context of the film. That's interesting that she found that the colors of feeling I found it disturbing <laughs> and very unsettling and almost a little nauseating for me. Not I'm not saying that the it was just the visuals, the effects of it for me was unsettling. Well that's probably what it's like, you know, it's a painting. That's this is a this is a film this is a painting that became a film, and that's what paintings do for many of us. It's very subjective so to what person's beauty, the other person's is an unsettlement, right? That's what kind of is, but it's engaging. It kind of engages you, even if it's unsettled. Go ahead. I'm uh, just curious, does anyone have any idea what the significance of the keys, the, the keys that were being given? Keys kind of symbolize uh, kind of like entering a new world, a new like death, I guess, going into the next. Well, the title and the quote are from Dante's Inferno. So like that, the title, Commedia. The numbers on the keys, uh, they were 666. I don't know if that symbolized anything or if it was just by coincidence. Oh, uh, you're so young, 666. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it represents the devil. That's the number. Did you know that? Okay, sorry, so, yeah, I thought that you were young and innocent, you didn't even experience the devil yet. Yeah, it's like, a, it's, a, it's the key to, like, so, I think, if you want to jump on those points, that here's this dying man, his imagination is going to the painting, there's two, two dimensions of him, there's one, the joker outside, a homeless person, there's one inside living in luxury, he's trying to figure out if he's going to heaven or hell. And I would say, because of uh, the dark tones, the colors, the way that it was filmed, and the fact that he's looking at this man outside who looks pretty miserable and terrible, like people were pushing him over at one point when he was just trying to walk over to the window, uh, it would go along with the whole Dante's Inferno, because that was the, all the levels of hell that you would have to go through, and it depended on what kind of sin that you committed. The thing is, we don't really know what kind of sins this man could have committed, so maybe that's why we see the the bad things and possibly the wealthy life. But I mean, when the wealthy part of it, he wasn't. It looked like he was almost being scandalous in a way, to to me anyway. So maybe that could also be a connection as well. And the six six six, which might say, well, he had more sins, so maybe he's kind of like in the middle, not really in purgatory, but in the middle. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So it makes sense for everybody.